This is MG's RC6 and it's something you haven't seen before. They call it a cross sedan and it's a combination of a high ground clearance, sedan body style and off-roader styling. Well, sometimes things don't work out well, but in this case, the design is fresh, exciting and even looks like it could be a success here. But what exactly do we have here? Let's take a closer look at this very different design. Now, up front is this beautiful and big MG grille. It's got all these chrome dots, just like on the Mercedes. And of course, a beautiful MG logo. But you also have tech here, like this radar-based system and interesting LED light elements here, a sharp cut bonnet, and of course, these fighter aircraft-like intakes that are seen on other MG cars as well. Now the wheel is a bit interesting. It says SUV here. An interesting detail, so it has a sort of on off-road uh, tread. And around the side, you get this cladding to accentuate the ground clearance. It's already quite a bit, but you get this cladding here that makes the car look a bit pinched. Around the back, this fast back rear, very raked and these interesting tail lights, beautifully done, simple. Of course, what you get with this fastback rear is also plenty of space. So the RC6, obviously an extremely wide car, plenty of space here. Even if I stretch my hand out all the way, I can't reach the other door. And of course, the piece of resistance of this interior is this twin screen here. Now, unfortunately, that second screen isn't coming on, but you can tell it's placed in the same plane, just like on the Mercedes cars and really beautifully done. Quality levels also are a bit higher than what we've seen currently on the Hector. And you get a lot of interesting details like this gear lever, which is pretty nicely fashioned. This parking brake here and the shutters all function well. So all in all, a pretty high quality interior. Now, because this is a slightly raised sort of cross sedan, you have to step up and into the cabin. It isn't that much, but it's still a bit of a step up. And yes, the wheelbase is relatively short, but as you can see, there's plenty of leg room here. There's a huge amount of space. Again, cabin width is super. You can see three abreast in a lot of comfort. And though the seat is a bit low, it's a pretty airy, roomy cabin, and I'm sure sitting in the back will be pretty comfortable.